Hello and welcome back to my Twitch live streaming of KSP's Hard Career Mode. What you're about to see was recorded on June 28th and has been edited for YouTube. Please follow me on Twitch. The vast majority of what I stream will not be uploaded to YouTube. My current KSP streaming times are Saturday and Sundays at 11 a.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. GMT. I, I will stream other games on Wednesdays and Fridays at 4 p.m. Pacific, 11 p.m. GMT. Even if you can't catch the stream time, Twitch retains the recording of the stream for two weeks so you can watch on demand, though some of the streams may be muted due to the background music used. With that, on to my commentary from June 28th. Okay, so we're gonna start out with a little bit more Minmus data mining. And then after that, I uh, Mitko had suggested doing that atmospheric analyzer thing. So after a little spate of of Minmus, we'll do that atmospheric analyzer to get some science, and then maybe we'll go back. Okay, so I think we need to transfer some fuel over. I mean, actually, the the lander probably has plenty of fuel left over, but we might as well transfer some anyway. And remember to put the data in the lab before transmitting. Well, we already did that. Uh, we'll try and remember to do it again. Okay, Bob looks worried. Perhaps he knows he has to EVA again, and he knows how bad I'm. I am at that. Let me see now. Where is our hatch? There it is. Okay, Bob. Uh, how how has the science been going? Think guy. Oh yeah, transfer. Right. Good point. I keep forgetting that this is a thing we can do. All right. So we're in here. All right, Bob. Okay, see? No worry. Well, you're still worried. It calls for a DMP session. Team landing. I don't think so. Okay, let's head down. So, where should we go to this time? I don't even know what the, what the biomes of Mimus are, because I never milk science from it. I think I want to hit this area down here. That seems like reasonably far away from all of our other things. Probably Midlands or Highlands. Lowlands, Highlands, Poles, Midlands, Greater Flats, Flats, Slopes, Lesser Flats. Slopes will be. I, I should do slopes. I think there was eight, right? Now I have to remember, we don't have much thruster power here. We've got two of the tiny ones. Here we go. That is our acceleration, folks. Great flats. Yeah. Okay, flats. Great flats. Greater flats. Lesser flats. Lots of flats. I guess we should aim for the flats more. But I'll aim for this location first. Poles, too? Oh, yeah, there are poles. Right, so this might be poles. Uh, what is our... I don't know if, if I'm looking at it properly. Yeah, it could be, well, sort of, poles. Well, if we're close to the poles, we should see that compass flip around right on time. Looks like it's deviating in a Polish kind of way. Not Polish, but... Of the poles. I, I think this depression looks like a pretty good place. I don't think I can decelerate in time. Let's see. On the borderline between the biomes, the game glitches out and gives you a different one? I haven't heard of that. Like, if the KSC can stumble across the tundra, if you go to the borders between the buildings. <laughs> wow, I definitely haven't encountered that before. I think we're going to end up landing on this tall bit here, because I don't think we're going to decelerate in time to hit this depression. I really don't want to hit the slope, though. Though I guess that is a different biome. Would this count as slopes? I don't want to find out, because I don't think this thing can survive it, then Bob would be in trouble. Okay, I think I have to pitch up because we're trying to hit the, these highlands instead, so... And that looks pretty high. So that changes things a bit. 
Looks like we're on a clear course for for that part. Okay, when you land, transmit what I can. Make, take the experiments again and take the non-transmittable portions to the station. Ah, that's a good idea. Start putting ant thrusters on all your extra, extra planetary probes. Excellent work. These little fellas are the key to success. <laughs> But uh, not as much as the one kilonewton thruster in Realism Overhaul. That thing... I'll always swear by. Well, I mean, all depends on how heavy the thing you're pushing around is. If you got a tiny little probe, then yeah, the, the ant will be better. But uh, if you got something heavy, the LV-909 is gonna, gonna be the one you want. Oh, we're still pretty high up. It says we've got 4,000 meters left. Thought we were higher than that. I mean, I uh, thought we were closer to terrain, terrain than that. Whew. I have to admit, though, using the ant engines is a little bit tedious. Takes a while. You like doing rovers, but get bored after driving it like 10 meters and never go back to it. Yeah. That's the thing about rovers, all right. I really should have carried a lot less mop propellant. This thing is loaded down with way too much mop propellant. Sorry for the slow landing, but this is how this vessel works. Bob would get a little bit too panicky if we landed too quickly. I think. But we can probably speed it up here. Oh boy. I'll have to do these lines a little bit quicker somehow. I guess I'll have to go to the suicide burn style thing. That's somewhere here in Flight Engineer, right? I see impact time, but that's not suicide burn time. Okay, there we go. Alright, what have you guys been saying? Why is your Mimis lander working like a real gun firing kerbals? I don't know. Sounds fishy to me. Uh, use the monoprop to slow the landing? Um, yeah, I, I don't think I needed to make the landing any slower. Uh, that was pretty slow already. Yeah, I hoped he'd land it too. Every time you try to reset your materials bay you get catapulted into the ground okay well uh, let's try this materials bay uh, okay so we're gonna do the transmitting data version of this we'll do it and then we're going to reset it and then uh, take that bit over to the station as uh, Mikko said Instead of using the fuel, the fuel's here for doing this. I mean, oh, well, I guess you mean dump the mop propellant first. I guess that could be a thing. So there's the Midlands. Yeah. That could be a thing for efficiency's sake, but, uh, yeah. Maybe I'll, I'll think of doing that next time. Was not as slopey as you thought? Yeah, it's pretty calm. Oh, right, down here. Sheesh. Transmit. Log seismic data, transmit. Oh, don't do that immediately. Now you're not gonna transmit properly, are you? Crew reports. Can transmit that too. Yeah, the lander has enough delta V, yes, that is true. Though we could do some hopping, I suppose. Okay, so we're gonna keep the blank crew report. Gonna have Bob EVA now. Oh, still scooting up. EVA report, uh, we'll keep that as well. Log temperature, we're going to... Oh, uh, we've already done that. Uh, keep 
Uh, oh, no, we haven't. Right, uh, take that data. Log seismic data, keep, and take that data. Barometer, log pressure data, keep, and take that data. Now the fun part. Come on, man. Oh, jeez. Okay, yeah. You're gonna have to use your jetpack. Oh, come on. Whoa! That was sudden. Back, back, back. Back, back, up. So derpy. It's too powerful. Okay, there we go. Now, observe materials bay. Keep data. Oh, no, whoa! He, uh, I, 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 seriously, something shot him up just now. It's, it's, it's the same thing. It's what you were talking about. Uh, I can't control him. I, 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 I was pushing left shift trying to use his jetpack, but it didn't work. Uh, who was it who was, uh, saying, uh, yeah, uh, PL Spirit. It's doing the same thing. Uh, it might just be the new version, Mikey, or, uh, I don't know. Maybe it's just Minmus or something. Okay, let's try this again. No, 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 don't, 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 okay, oh, remove data, okay. Whew, okay, it was... Okay. Let's try the goo container. Can you get a get just get over to the perch there? We seem to have a little perch. No, wow. Uh, unfortunately, it's uh, catapulting Bob to the ground. Climbing mechanic. You mean the climbing mechanic that I didn't even use before, except on ladders. Whoa. Oh, this is gonna be so tedious. It's not like I don't already have problems controlling these guys. Okay, well, at least I seem to have jetpack control right now. This is a long ways to go. Is it gonna be like exponential growth in these? Okay, uh, okay, uh, shoot. I really should have put ladders all over this thing. That would have saved me all this trouble. Of course, I'm, aside from the glitch, I'm also bad at it, too. Okay, sit there. Observe Mystery Goo. Keep data. Collect data. Yeah. Restore the mystery goo. Okay! No, I'm not jumping. I'm not pressing spacebar at all. My my finger is nowhere near spacebar. It's a survival skill in Curl Space Program not to have any finger near spacebar. Okay, here we go. Take surface sample. And I'll just keep this. I'm not gonna transmit these right now. EVA report. Oh, he's already got the... Oh, I should store that. Okay, let's go back and store that. Go to the landing lake and try to climb it. Huh. That's an interesting one. We'll do that next time. Won't work on Minmus? Huh. 
Okay, now, EV report. Okay, we'll just keep that for now. Plant a flag, just so we remember we've been here. What would happen when you climb onto that retractable ladder and knock into... <laughs> okay, so... Bob at the Midlands. Maybe I should say Midlands on what body, but... Uh, just in case I'm looking at the tracking station, but I guess we'll keep it like this. Okay. More... Science spamming. Okay, got it. Suggestion, don't do whatever it is while in orbit. You might not have enough EVA fuel to correct it. Don't do whatever it is. That's a bit vague, isn't it? I don't even know what it is. Okay, I'm not going to transmit anymore. I think we're going to go back to the station. But first, we have to be in a proper... Oh, it looks like we're good still. Okay, let's just uh, go up, target the station. Should be north. Oh, I guess it's just northwest again. Okay. When you drop back to the station, you think I can transfer Bob again? Still be able to review data in the lander. We'll try. Does Cochrane Station have a warp drive or something to deserve its name? Uh, uh, I wish. <laughs> That'd be handy. Most errors during launch usually on big stuff that lags the game and takes ages to get to orbit. Yeah, large launches, well, the, that's, the, that's the Uni 5 hype, right? Hopefully our large launchers will be will be a little bit happier then, maybe. Up, oh, up, oh, there we go. Ah, just a little bit off. Oh, stop being fidgety. Stupid maneuver node system. Oh, don't go there. Ah. Uh... Alright, I'll take that for now. There are two waters on Kerbin you can take surface samples from. Hold on. Music too loud. Two waters on Kerbin? I didn't know that. Well, oh, uh, no, that's above above the water and in the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, I do know that. All right. Yep, yep. Here's the thing with uh, Uni 5. It's like a tortilla, even if you get a bigger one, you're still gonna overstuff it. This is true, but I want to overstuff it. <laughs> I, I want that luxury to overstuff it. Now that you can build bigger without landing your game and having it controllable, you'll build, big, build bigger. And soon find the limits of Unity 5, yep. Well, you say it's a nice rendezvous, but... Uh, I don't think KSB agrees with us on that. Okay, 1.5 kilometers hopefully is what we've got there. Let's head over there. Got a kick out of thinking people will be trying to sink their craft to get to deep water. Well, the, the trick is, uh, we'd all think that the squad would get a kick out of that too. So it'd be just the kind of thing that they would do, right? Because squad, squad has a little perverse pleasure in seeing our ships wobble and explode. 
they're not too... I mean, of course, uh, that's been from the start, so... So, yeah, that's why it works. Well, this time, no fancy docking. I'm gonna turn the station to face us. Oh, no! There's no electric charge on the station! The station's out of electric charge. Okay, I guess we can't turn it. Well, good thing I theoretically know how to do this without that. Well, I turn them when they're this small. Uh, once they get to the size of, say, the station in the Sandbox EDB series, I don't turn them anymore. Unless it's just to make sure the solar panels are facing the right way. Yeah, I know, I get the same thrust on the RCS thrusters as I do on the engines. Yep. Uh, so in an emergency, if I really, really needed to, I could use them to slow down or speed up. Can be great for EVA. Ah, uh, no. No, 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 no. We are not gonna be hearing Major Tom and his woeful results there. Okay, there we go. I haven't had much call for the error breaking music. I'm uh, playing the same tracks. Let's try this one. I, I seem to recall there was one track here that I wanted to get rid of. And, uh, hold on. So, I. Oh, let me do one thing at a time. Transfer, we think we can do this, right? Okay, so now this is this is the data we already had in here. Let's uh, keep all this stuff. Oh wait, keep 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 keep. So you're saying that we can get it from here? Oh, review store data. Okay, here we go. Okay. Process in lab module, process in lab module, process, 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 process. Okay. I think that covers all of it. We're almost at uh, the top here. Oh, I, I don't know if we can put any more in. It is manned. I just put uh, Bob in there. Okay, so we can't store any more in there. How much science per day? We're getting 0.3 science per day. So, uh, tell you what, uh, we'll make sure this is oriented properly to get maximum solar input. It's clearly not that way right now. Okay, that's the wrong way. And then we'll turn to that atmospheric uh, analyzer. Okay, that looks good. Back to Space Center. 